that's how boxing should be. Sunny me, AFL TV and Association, MTK Global. I'm in Raynham, uh, in my bits today. Um, and today I'm with the leader of the Winnie Foundation, uh, yes. Sean uh, Winnie Mills, O'Hara Davis, OD. How mm. you doing? I'm good, thanks. How you been? I'm good, thank you. Uh, today, as you can see in the background, uh, we're... Explain what we're doing. You know better than me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Winnie's Foundation, we've only actually been going since November, um, but where the Winnie's Mills has grown as a company, I just felt like needed to do something to give back a little bit so um started the foundation and now what we do is we supply food to quite a few homeless shelters around like around like hey so yeah it's it's, it's it's going pretty well and now we're we're feeding sort of 25 to 30 people in each in each night it's going pretty well so yeah. i've got 25 people now and we're just sat in their beds for the night so got some chili that's okay you made that so you can cook as well? I can cook. See, I thought it was just your mum doing all the dirty work. No, right, no, with, uh, no, no. You proved me, now proved again, me different here. Now and again, you've got to get your hands dirty, yeah, so. It's true. Um, OD, this man keeps you in shape, in mm -hmm. camp. You he eat does. food every day of your life. Sean's meals are the best meals. But, you know, whenever I'm on iPhone, it's always for something boxing related. So I'm, I'm pleased that you guys are out here to see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and getting to know the real me. You know what I mean? The mask is off and, you know, um, just happy to be here with Sean, helping out um, the less fortunate and something that really close to me and it really touches my heart so I'll just um, come out here today. I mean I'm sure growing up, I mean you've earned a lot of good amount of money now obviously, I mean but growing up I mean, you probably have everything you wanted in the world, um, when you come here and see that there's less fortunate people, do you, does it make you feel the position you're in feel a little better for it now? It makes me look back on my life and you know sometimes I look back at my past and I'll and I've been not thankful enough. I've definitely been not thankful enough. You know, when I look at times where I didn't really have much, I had a bed to sleep on every night. I had food on my plate every day. And, you know, I look, I look at my past sometimes and I was like, I wish I had this. I wish I had what other people had. But, you know, when you come out to other places and you, and you listen to other people talk and the stories that they have, it just makes you appreciate your life more. And I think it's something that everyone should do. It's not only, I don't, I'm not only saying that everyone should come here, everyone should help out in some way, shape or form. Donate money, go out, go out. And show people that you're actually going out, hoping that it would inspire them to also go out and do the same thing. So, you know, that's why I'm pleased that you're here. I'm not trying to boast to say, oh, I'm helping out the homeless or I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. No, I'm, I want to inspire other people to do the same thing, to come out to, to, come out to things like this and to places like here and to help the less fortunate themselves because they can't help themselves and without people like us, they'll be done. Um, Sean, the Winnie's Foundation, uh, I spoke to you before about Winnie's Meals and you have sort of touched on it but really let me know, I mean, what, what was the idea, what, how come you wanted to do this? Because obviously you could have just, with the boxing event, the charity boxing event you're going to do, you could have done that. Ooh. Is that a secret? No, no, don't worry. It's, it's all good. All right. it's, gonna... it's a secret. It's gonna come out soon. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> you heard it here first, now. Uh, yeah, sorry, apologies. It's alright, no. Um, no, the, the foundation. I mean, it's it's non non profitable. Yeah. Um, I've donated a few quid every time I made an order on exactly. Winnie's. Thank um, you very much. So that's how it works. I mean, what was the idea behind it to start with? It, it's, it's just, I've seen so many people eating Winnie's meals and getting great results and it, it, it's so sad just walking past the man in the street and he he's, he's never going to get a Winnie's meal. And I know it sounds a bit thingy, but I just think healthy food should be available to everyone, not just those who can afford it, basically. And that's the message behind, obviously, the Winnie's Foundation. So, yeah, it was just purely, I felt... I feel blessed to be in the position I'm in and the platform I've got and, and, and Winnie's Mills growing and I just feel I need to do something to, to give back so this year for me, um, last year was about taking the business national, this year is about raising as much money as possible so. Oh, thank you <laughs> much, my friend. <laughs> thank you very much. Good food? Yeah, very nice this. Yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. I saw you put uh, kickboxing the other day. Wins. Wins. You was in the, in, um, the Rumford one. I saw you doing your your practice in the chips. Uh, sometimes it's like fitness, you know, I get on so oh, my yeah. Yeah, I know he kicks first. <laughs> Don't want to get in a fight with him. I hope he's not yeah. kicking everyone in here. I thought we had a better, better, bigger dinner than everyone else. Yeah, that's it. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I said you come here today. I mean, mm. the idea originally was just 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 
Where's the hell gone wrong? Yeah, it, it, literally I thought, right, easy way to do it, we'll, we'll add a pound onto everyone's order automatically, so obviously you know you're, yeah. you're a customer, so um, you've got the options obviously opt out, you don't want to donate a pound, but because we do hundreds of orders on a regular basis, it all adds up, it all adds up and most people don't opt out, so I thank you very much obviously to everyone who does donate, because each pound that is donated, I then match it, that two pound then pays for a meal, which goes to someone who needs it, so it's really picking up quite nicely. I mean, a, from a personal point, I mean, I, live, I work in the cities every day, I see yeah. probably hundreds of hundreds of a week, and you don't bat an eyelid because you can't help every, every single one of them, mm. but if, I, if you put all these people that are here today in a lineup, I probably would pick out maybe one, maybe two out of 25 that would look homeless. I mean, when people yeah. turn up here in suits, yeah, and work, yeah, exactly. they're going to go it shows you the whole different side is that you don't see. Mm. Um, OD, uh, do you want to get more involved in this, I mean, in the long term? Um, yeah, I believe so. It's something that keeps me humble for one. It keeps me thankful for what I've had in life and for what I have in life. And I feel like it's in, I feel like it's real important because if these people, if we don't help them, they're not able to help themselves. And I've taken it upon myself. And I feel like I need to be out there to help. I need to be out there to help for no reason. Just it's just because I've got a heart that wants to help other people. And because I have a heart that just wants to help other people. Um, I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to do what I want and this is what I want to do, I want to help other people in life. The same way I've been helped many times in my life and I feel like because I've been helped, I'm not going to be selfish, I'm going to give myself, regardless of where I get in life, I'm always going to be helping other people and I feel like that's, um, this is me. Maybe, I think you maybe should open uh, Moreno's gym to the homeless and do some OD boxing classes. <laughs> You, you, could self defense. I mean, you, you could do that. You could do that. You could do that. Ideas, but I'm amazing. Why is crazy right now? That's actually I like. I That's like the idea. We might be able to make a, at least a workshop happen. You could. But the thing about me is, um, I'm so busy in the gym. I'm so busy training, so I can't do yeah. things like this. But what I can do, I can come out to these things and I can help out. Yeah. Right. People like Sean that have got the brains and and the time and the energy, they sit down and they and they sort out things like this. And what I do, I come along and I help out where I can help out. Yeah. And where are these helping us a big big star is with the with the boxing events that we're trying to get more into now. Um, first one June 15th. Um, OD is actually going to co-promote for the event. So his platform, he's kindly said, yeah, I'm going to back it and I'm going to help try and promote it and make it bigger. So we've got big, big ambitions. And I've got to say, a perfect man who would have been here is my friend from many, many years ago, Darren Hamilton, who moved from Bristol to London with just the bag he had and then he was homeless in the gym with Spencer Fear on. And he spent a living in the gym and he to be British champion and now he's doing well for himself as a personal trainer so it does show that sometimes you've got to take a risk in life obviously yeah, but yeah. and like I said that I've met a guy here today that's my age 19 he's been homeless for two days and, and it's not because of anything else it's because he lost his job and then he went to 17 which is crazy because I'm with my mum earlier because I had steak instead of chicken for dinner mm. which is uh, yeah, yeah. going for a little bit bad and I'm mm. going to go apologise when I get in but um, yeah I mean we can't just take all the success I mean he's got these lovely ladies here they're helping out you alright? <laughs> and uh, yeah, this, oh, also, sorry, this, yeah. this is Jeff. Jeff, do you mind explaining a little bit sure. about what you do? Why? Because do. you're doing, okay. you're sleeping here tonight, so. Yeah, um, this is very odd. Cool. Um, so um, I coordinate the shelter. Um, that means kind of managing the guests, uh, managing kind of what goes on in the shelter, um, and also kind of that includes kind of supporting here. Um, so kind of running an evening. Uh, and um, also the scene I'll be sleeping over with the guys because um, we have kind of a breakfast uh, bit as well where we have to kind of clean up the hall um, and um, yeah hopefully and kind of set the guys up um, and set the hall back to what it was um, so we can leave in the morning. How much does it help you when obviously not just Sean when people just donate the food and just give people this dinner I mean obviously you're doing the the graph day in day out mm. I mean the little things I, must, I imagine help quite a lot. Oh it's so helpful because um, if it wasn't for Sean uh, cooking we'd have to cook as well so it's kind of it just takes off a, a huge stress for us um, in terms of actually um, of the food as well to have good kind of quality nutritious food is great as well for these guys because a lot of the time they get a lot of cakes a lot of biscuits a lot of kind of sugary stuff yeah. so really to have kind of really nothing better than the home cooked meal sometimes. exactly no, nothing better at all especially for these guys that they haven't got a lot at the moment so to have a, a home cooked meal is, is great uh, and as I say it helps um, and every night we have kind of different cooks Sean does it twice a week um, so for us it is just such a, a great help and having two good looking girls oh, serve the food up <laughs> even though she's camera shy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but listen um, I appreciate your hard work no worries man thank you, thank you. Um, Sean OD OD I'm going to catch up with you in a minute uh, we'll talk a little bit about boxing but 
Sean, uh, if anyone wants to get involved and have a look what's happening, where can I get you? Yeah, so first of all, follow us, uh, obviously, um, at Winnie's underscore meals underscore foundation um, the best way you can help us is yeah just make a donation or just drop us a message like, we're always welcoming volunteers to come on board so what we tend to do is we raise the money then how we can then make it then bigger we send the money to our volunteers who then go out shop for the food cook it and then bring it to the different shelters so that allows us to reach more people so yeah donate and all volunteers uh, yeah come well, forward and come watch the boxing show what happens, what happens? come watch the boxing show yeah exactly. tickets will now. be on sale exactly. soon go. Oh, yeah. go on. i'm pleased that everyone can see that the pound that everyone gives isn't going to sean's pocket but sean <laughs> actually takes a pound out of his own pocket yeah. to match your pound i'm not getting paid anything and we're helping out it's fortunate so at least everyone can see that and sean's a very genuine person. I've known Sean for a few years now. A very genuine person, and you know, everyone can see that. Um, yeah, that's all. Right, mate. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in a minute. We'll talk about boxing. But until then, boys, well done. Uh, everyone's enjoying their meals, as you can see. So we'll leave it there. But until then, thank you to IPL TV. Uh, uh, TV. See you. Got my, and we'll catch up with you soon. Top thank you. That's how boxing should be.